Hello everyone, this is Huang Wei, robot engineer from Thundersoft. We know that ROS is very important to robotics development. As a powerful robot development kit, RB5 supports ROS as well. Today we will show how to install ROS2 on RB5 and a small robotics demo. When we get the RB5 for the first time, we need to do some preparation work. Firstly, let's connect the power supply, then the network, and use Type-C to connect the RB5 to our computer. Wait for booting. Here we use ADB tool to visit RB5 on PC. If your devices don't have ADB tool, you can install it following this instruction. Visit RB5 through ADB. Firstly, update the APT and install some fundamental tools. Add a user. Here we add a user named RB5. Now we can assemble the RB5 on the robot. It is tricky to disassemble or assemble this robot here, so we have already installed an RB5 on this robot. And this RB5 has completed the preparation, assuming this piece of RB5 as the piece of RB5 just now. Then we use Type-C to connect RB5 with the computer. After RB5 powers on, press and hold the switch button to plug in Type-C cable to activate. Or we can also set the toggle switch to automatically start when RB5 powers on. When it is activated, let's use the ADB tool to access RB5 and connect to the wireless network for RB5. Check and write down the RB5 IP, then exit ADB. Next, Follow the official instruction of ROS2 to install it. Visit the official installation guide page of ROS2. Here we are installing the dashing version. Then access the user we just created on RB5 with SSH and the IP we just recorded for RB5. Now we can start the installation. It's okay to skip directly to the part setup source to install some tools first. Then add source. Today we are showing the installation and demo of ROS2. If it is ROS1, please follow the installation step of ROS1. After the update, let's start the installation. For saving some time, we have finished this before, and normally it takes a little time. Finally, we also need to install the ROS2 compilation tools. We open the page of installation instructions. We'll start from ROS2. Okay, the installation of ROS2 is complete. Now let's run a demo. Back to PC. Copy the demo source code to RB5. Now 
Access the IV5 user through SSH when copy is finished. Create a folder in the root directory as the working space of ROS. Store the copied source code in the workspace. Set the device rules. Source the rows to workspace and compile it. After the compilation is complete, source the demo workspace, set the rows domain ID, and run the robot. This demo used the Edge Computing IoT Framework EdgeX to realize the status monitoring and command control. Now we run the pre-configured EdgeX. Access the EdgeX interface from the web. Select the gateway. Select the device service. What showed up is our robot. Click send. You can see the current voltage. The second is linear velocity. Using the method get, the current linear velocity of the robot can be obtained. The method set can control the robot to move at a set linear velocity. The third one is angular velocity. The usage is the same as above. Well, that's all for today's sharing. Thank you.